Hey guys, it's me Charita and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. This video as you can see from my title is going to be my birthday haul in sense of what my friends gave me for my birthday. My birthday is in March and I believe this is the fourth or the fifth video my birthday haul video that I'm doing on this channel so without wasting any further time let's get in the video because I do not want this video to be super long so today's vibe is very chill and cozy and I just want to show you all of the gifts that I got or bought for myself for my birthday so the first thing that I want to show you is this uh, tumbler it's a glass tumbler and it says queens are born in March I do not drink a lot of water but I feel like it's so much easier for me to drink water when I have a straw in it and this was given to me by one of my co-workers and I've been using it non-stop since and I love practical gifts that are super cute the next gift that I want to show you is from one of my best friends she was my roommate back in 2020 and 2021 in Boston and then she moved back to India and she sent me this beautiful sari for my birthday and I'm so excited because I did not have anything to wear for this Diwali and I'm probably gonna wear this sari. It's a beautiful sari. It's like purple and silver. It's tissue and it has this sheen and also the palla is so beautiful. It has this um, crystal lace on the palla and then she got the fall done and she also got a petticoat made for me which is amazing and I'm super excited even though I do not have a blouse for this I can probably find a crop top and wear this for Diwali this next gift that I'm gonna show you is gift from my current roommate and she gave me a box filled with goodies and the first thing that I saw were these like big bows one is black and one is like off-white and these are like gigantic i absolutely love that and i'm so excited for like using these for spring and summer like with mini dresses or like adding feminine touch to any outfit and these literally are bigger than my face and it would be super cute like styling a super girly outfit she also gave me these wooden cowboy boot earrings they have like a fall theme going on and I think they would be super cute for the fall and then she also gave me a pair of sunglasses which I absolutely love I do not have any funky sunglasses like these and even with a very casual outfit like this fuzzy sweatshirt kind of thing that I'm wearing these sunglasses look so cool they instantly make any outfit so much cooler so I absolutely love these I do not have any light tinted sunglasses so yeah she also made a handmade card for me for my birthday which I already like put into my uh, journal my scrapbook journal so I can't really show you that this next gift is also from one of my co-workers it's a very beautiful fragrance diffuser this is what the bottle looks like and you can open the cork and put this little flower in it i'm waiting for like it to get a little warmer out the spring has started but boston is still pretty cold so i'm waiting for actual spring weather to actually put this out on my fireplace mantle which is right above me next i want to show you some of the jewelry pieces that i got so the first one is this Louis Vuitton padlock and my friends actually asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I told them that I wanted this and they actually made fun of me for wanting a lock but this is actually going to be used as a pendant and it is an actual working lock so you can turn the key and it opens. I've seen so many Etsy sellers make necklaces out of these and selling them for like $200 so I just wanted to get this like lock it has lv at the front and it says louis vuitton at the back and then it has a key that also the key doesn't really say lv so i'm just gonna put it in a chain and wear it as a pendant and i feel like it is such a cool vibe and it's like a clever way to actually get designer costume jewelry without actually spending a lot of money the next thing is another piece of jewelry and like i said in my trends alert video i am obsessed with pomegranates so my friend actually got me these beautiful pomegranate earrings i had actually 
put the same earrings in my trend alerts video i had gotten that picture from etsy these are super cute and i actually wore them on my birthday with the corset and the trousers that i wore for my birthday eve dinner and he also got me this little handcuff which i absolutely love i believe this is turkish or moroccan jewelry and i absolutely love the pomegranate earrings and the same friend also got me these heatless curlers because i use my socks to like do heatless curls and he found it very disgusting so he just got me these so i can now use these instead of the socks the next gift that i'm gonna show you is the most beautiful gift uh one of my co-workers and a really really good friend at work actually hand painted this dupatta for me and it is so beautiful and i can't really wait to wear it for one of the indian festivals it's a beautiful bright red dupatta and she painted this tree on it it's all hand painted and it's so beautiful and she also has three birds on this tree which she said were her i and one of our other friends at work which i feel like is super cute so i'm super excited about this gift the next thing that i'm going to show you is another piece that i talked about in my trend alerts video and this is the box can you guess what it is it is actually the doc martens nartella sandals so my friends actually got me these they got it in a tan color which i absolutely love because i do have black flats but i didn't have any nice nudish tan colored flats i am so excited to style these for summer and like wear them out and they are so cushiony i am super excited i also got this libre perfume i ran out of my current perfume and i wanted to get a new one so my aunt and uncle they actually got me this one for my birthday i absolutely love the bottle and i feel like the notes are somewhat musky and it has hints of vanilla it's not a very strong perfume i also wanted to get black opium but i decided not to get that because that is kind of intense and i would not be able to wear that on an everyday basis to work so instead i decided to get this one and i'll probably get black opium later because i actually really liked that fragrance as well i also wanted to show you two other handmade gifts so the first one is this beautiful colorful striped sweater that i actually wore on my birthday and this is a hand knit sweater this has very quickly become my favorite sweater i've like worn it so much like every other day and it was made by my best friend's mom for me for my birthday and i have been so obsessed like look at all these colors and i'm so excited to also style this for spring imagine like a maxi skirt and this sweater on top of it layered up it would look super super cute the next handmade piece that i'm gonna show you is this beautiful crochet orange dress which i also talked about in my trends alert video and this is a crochet dress that my mom had made for me honestly the video and the camera doesn't even do it justice so this is what the dress looks like it's a bright orange color which i absolutely love it has this roseate detail on the neck and then it's like a midi dress this is what the hem looks like and hem also has these like tiny little flowers all over it i don't know if the camera is picking the little flowers on the hem but it's just such a beautiful dress i haven't worn the dress yet but i am so excited to wear it and finally let me show you the gifts that i got for myself if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know that i went to portland maine for my birthday and on the day of my birthday there were four or five vintage stores that i wanted to visit i wanted that to be my birthday activity because i did the 60 heart challenge where it, i did not shop for anything for the first 60 days of the year so i wanted to buy uh nice pieces for myself but i wanted to buy something that was vintage and something that would last me 
for a long time so let me show you all of the things that I got from Portland so the first thing that I got is actually a postcard it's a vintage inspired postcard and it says greetings from Portland I absolutely love the colors in this one and I wanted to remember this trip by so I got this postcard and I'll probably frame it and put it on my gallery wall so one of the vintage stores that I went to was called Little Ghost and I loved this vintage store they had an amazing curation and I actually got two things from this store let me show you the first one so the first one is this beautiful maxi dress it's a lace dress and this is what the lace looks like it is a full length dress it's maxi and it has these buttons in the front and the best thing about this dress is it has this little loop tie up situation at the back so you can cinch in your waist i feel like this would be so good with the bow like styled with this bow that my roommate actually gave me and i'm so excited to wear this dress for summer it's a true vintage piece and you can tell by looking at the tag right here so i was super excited when i found this okay so the next piece i got it from the same vintage store but it definitely has to be one of my favorite pieces that i've thrifted and you're not ready for this vintage beauty it's a beautiful forest green leather trench coat and this is what it looks like look at the color and the leather is buttery soft and it's like a super long trench coat in a classic vintage silhouette i actually wore it when we went to the lighthouse because i was feeling cold so i'll put up a few pictures here so that you can see this coat in its full glory so one of the other vintage stores that i went to was called weekend vintage and i also got a piece from there it's a very simple black maxi dress it's vintage of course and the selling point of this dress for me actually was this beautiful roseate detail on the neck it's absolutely gorgeous and i got this uh dress from the sale rack and everything on the rack was 50 percent off so that is also something that i absolutely loved and look at the little roses they are so cute even though this is a black dress i think it's perfect for spring because of the little roses on it it has a zipper at the back these fabric belts and you can like cinch your waist in and i think it would be super cool for like a grungy spring vibe so the last thing that i got from portland is from a thrift store it was called still a good cause and i'll actually do a video about all these vintage stores and thrift stores that i went to on my instagram so this is what the bag looks like and i got a beautiful purple suede jacket and it's so vintage it was such a good deal absolutely beautiful condition the color is absolutely stunning and pieces like these don't need a lot of styling you can just put it on with a normal pair of straight leg jeans and some loafers and the color and the texture and how the piece is made actually makes a statement so it doesn't need a lot of styling and i absolutely love that it also has this beautiful purple lining and this is what the tag looks like even though it says excel it fits me pretty well because vintage sizes run small and lastly i have a few little accessories that i got for myself for my birthday the firstly i'll show you the jewelry so we actually went to cambridge antique mall which is such an amazing place it's like a three-story antique mall and the prices there were like amazing everything was really well priced so i got a few jewelry pieces i got this bolo tie i've been wanting to get a bolo tie for the longest time but they were pretty expensive at the places that i actually looked at it's a bolo tie and it also has a description it says paul Revere by sentinel medal okay so this is a medal and it, they made a bolo tie out of this and it was very uh reasonable it was for eight dollars which i feel like is really reasonable for a bolo tie because whatever i've seen at vintage stores go for twenty dollars and upwards especially in boston and then i also got this 
little ring. It was only a dollar for this ring and I feel like a lot of trendy jewelry brands like Mejuri have actually made this croissant ring but this is an actual vintage piece so technically those rings are a copy of this vintage ring and then the final a uh, piece of jewelry that I got from Cambridge Antique Mall are these earrings. I absolutely love these. These are a vintage pair and these were for $3 which I felt was a pretty good price and I love these earrings. I can just wear them with uh, just hoops in my other piercings or just add it to the topmost piercing and like uh, create a cascading earscape situation. I'm pretty excited about that and these are super light and I feel like they're pretty different from the earrings that I've seen recently and finally I wanted to show you this belt that I got for my birthday I actually got this wooden belt to add on my dressers you just tie it up and I actually got it from the stall that is right outside the Park Street station in Boston Commons and this was for $10. That stall has like a really nice belts like these. They also had shell belts and shell necklaces. They have a bunch of jewelry and accessories which is very reasonably priced so I would definitely suggest you to check that stall out. So yeah, that was everything that I got from my birthday. I hope this video is not super long, but I just want to reiterate that I'm super grateful for everything that I got and in no way I just want to show off what I got for my birthday and I did buy a lot of stuff for me but that is because I did not buy anything for two months and I also do this no shop challenge where I can only shop for a certain months in a year so this year I can only shop for six months out of which I cannot buy like new stuff for three months it is just second hand and the rest three is mix of second hand vintage thrifted and uh, new stuff and makeup etc so yeah that is my birthday haul I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and mention in the comments below which is your favorite part or piece of this haul and i'll see you in my next video next week until then bye